For the first stage of painting this model, cover the entire thing in a two to one mix of Vallejo Game Ink Blue and Vallejo Game Ink Black Green Ink. I recommend keeping a pre-mixed bottle of this for any other models you might want to paint using the same scheme. Once again cover the entire model, this time use VGC green ink. Be careful to catch any pooling in the recesses. Finally, for the green-blue armour, cover the entire area in Celia Green Shade from Citadel. Again, catch any pooling. For any parts of the model that are going to be black or metal, cover the entire area in Citadel Black Templar contrast paint. Paint over any of the Black Templar that you want to be silver with Vallejo Model Air Gunmetal. Any areas that you want to be gold, such as the shoulder pad trim or any detailing on the model, paint this area with Vallejo Game Colour Bright Bronze. For the eyes, I like to paint the middle of them with Vallejo Game Colour Orange Fire and then wash the area with Vallejo Game Colour Red Ink. This will give a nice shiny effect but also shade the recesses of the sockets at the same time. If you want to add any additional highlights to the model, I recommend using Citadel Cyberite Green at this stage as it provides a very good highlight for the green that's already on the model.
I like to use Vallejo Game Color Wolf Grey at this stage to paint additional markings on the armor and things such as chapter or squad markings. Cover over any of the gold areas with Citadel Wildwood. If it's too dark, add some water to the brush and move it around the gold area while it's on the model. Finally, as this model has a plasma pistol and a power sword, I use some Citadel Athematic Blue Contrast Paint to cover the entire plasma pistol and the centre of the sword.